Now this is Krillin, and the reason he's getting whooped on so bad is because he messed with the wrong young. And you gonna see a lot more of this in today's video. Enjoy. Now I don't know if y'all been seeing, but the term YN has been going crazy on social media. And you know, it literally means young. But yeah, now it's just used to describe anybody who's in thug or shysty activity. And seeing all this YN post, it really made me think, what anime characters demonstrate this YN activity, bro? And today, that's what we finna talk about. And I got some characters we gonna put on trial, and I got scenes to talk about. And then after that, we gonna rank them from bronze to Hall of Fame YN badge. Now starting off, we got a generational prospect, and I'm talking about the emo Sandman himself, Gara. Now there's something different about Gara because he didn't like to just hurt people, but he liked to murk people, bruh. Like I'm telling you, I was convinced this man was possessed by King Bond the first half of the show, because that's how crazy he was moving, bruh. Now for the first moment of review, we got the Rock Lee murder attempt. Now if you've seen Naruto, you know Gara ended up winning his tournament fight against Rock Lee, right? And he might have tried to murk Rock Lee in the process, but that's besides the point, because this didn't end up happening because my guy stepped in and saved the day. And I must remind you, like I said earlier, Gara was a generational YN and Rock Lee was registered as one of his ops so he decided to slide on this man while he was in the hospital and on top of that this man Rock Lee was unconscious bro like bro was standing bedside ready to finish the job saying wrapped around my mans and luckily Naruto and Shikamaru were there to barely stop this man cause he was tweaking out dog how you gonna kill someone when they literally down like Fortnite I'm telling y'all this is a different level of shysty and this wasn't the first time they saw this YN in action cause they witnessed Gar kill two people in front of him for the third part of the exams if I was Naruto I would've had him sent back to his village now for the last moment of review, we got the make it rain scene. And so Gar and his crew were posted up against these rain ninja, and they were old as frick, I'm not gonna lie. So no wonder they couldn't tell Gar was one of them YNs. And off rip old dude was like, hey, y'all ran into the wrong crew, all y'all getting murked. And Gar looked at that man with killer intent and said, nah, I'm murking everybody I run into. So old dude activated some raining needle moves, and it did nothing but make Gar even more heated. And then Gar said something scary. Rain the needles? I'm finna make it rain blood, Lil Twine. So Gar proceeded to trap bro in his sand cough the move, and that already sound like some deep. And it was as suspected because as Gar squeezed his hand, it actually squeezed the blood out of bro, making it rain on him. And Gar was just disrespectfully posted up with an umbrella already. He knew what was gonna happen. And don't think he forgot about the other two. He packed them up also, bruh. And I'm not gonna lie, this is all the evidence I need to see that Gar deserves a Hall of Fame YN badge, bro. He's peak of peak. Actually, I'm gonna make y'all mad and I'm swapping it out for a gold. I'm sorry, he turned from his YN ways very soon after this, bro. We only got so many Hall of Fame badges to give out. Now, if I'm gonna talk about true YN embodiment, I know this dude isn't really young but Blackbeard, come on, bro. Now, since the beginning of One Piece, he's been one of the shystiest people in the show. Like, he slides on people, steals fruits, and catches bodies. And we got one scene in particular to review. So, for some context of this scene, it was the Marine for a war, and everybody was getting active to the point this man Whitebeard was on his last leg. And you know, the oldest YN Blackbeard decided this was the perfect moment to steal his powers and catch a body in the process. So, Blackbeard pulled up talking absolutely crazy to this half living old man and proceeded to piece the frick out of him, bro. Mind you, like I said, he was talking crazy the whole time. He like, yeah, old nigga, we done with the 90s. So one way or another, Whitebeard activated his old man strength and got active with his final breast. And he had bro pinned down, no ditty. And he straight up full force ground pounded this man like Wreck-It Ralph. And things was looking rough because Whitebeard was on the hots to the point bro turned red. It looked like he was gear too. But like I told y'all, Blackbeard was just the old YN because before Whitebeard got the finishing punch off, he upped the pole on this man and popped him. Like you can't make this up bro, he resulted to his gun. And not only that, but immediately after he called for his fellow YNs to slide with him bro. And they didn't just slide bro, they got active. They up blick swords, they was doing everything in their power to make sure he was dead and you know this is one of the most shysty moments of one piece because look at everybody's faces while this is happening today pops and if that wasn't enough blackbeard was literally laughing bro like this man needs to be sent to the streets of chicago for the way he moving and then after whitebeard was gone for the count he did a whole presentation demonstration showing how he just hit a lick on his power catching even more bodies in the process and this is all the review i need to see blackbeard's one of them oans bro he's not a young you know what i'm saying hey Hall of Fame, bro. Hall of Fame simple. Moving on. Now, Dragon Ball has a lot of YN prospects, but I feel it's only right that we talk about the king of YNs, and that would be Kid Buu, or I'ma say YN Buu. And the first scene I'ma talk about is the Heavenly Fade. So leading up to said fade, Majin Buu ended up transforming into this little kid form, and Vegeta and Goku thought this was gonna be sweet, but Supreme Kai started stressing, cause apparently this is the ultimate YN form, where Buu gives zero fricks. Now, one way or another, Vegeta was like, hey gang, if you gonna blow up the planet, run the fade first. 
but Kid Buu won't listen to me. He just turned in their direction and hissed like a cat. And like I said, he had no regard for life. So he charged up this devious blast. Like Goku was literally trying to plead with this man, but he just smiled. <laughs> and as you could have guessed, Wayan Buu ended up throwing the blast, but luckily Goku and Vegeta escaped. So now that Wayan Buu was bored because Vegeta and Goku were gone, he started going to random planets and blowing them up, bruh. Apparently looking for Goku and them. And this is where it gets crazy because somehow Buu ended up making his way to DBZ heaven just for some smoke, just to run some fades. So Buu walks over to everybody, sizing them up. And then this fake Piccolo and Thor clone walk over and try to sun him. Like they was patting him on the head and mess, not knowing this is Wayan Buu. And I guess this was the catalyst because then Buu cracked his neck and started screaming like a crackhead, straight up destroying the surrounding area. And everybody there wasn't trying to let that slide. So they tried to jump this man Buu. But when I tell you Buu started violating everybody, it was straight up no cop. This man Krillin weeks up, tried to hit him with a destructo disc, then just got bounced around like a toy. Like Krillin no, he ain't no cop for Wayan Buu. He's in a different league. After violating everybody, Wayan Buu decided he was gonna blow up this planet too. But luckily they got saved because Goku and Vegeta charged up to lure Buu in. But really think about this. Kid Buu slid to heaven or wherever they were and fought all these dead people just to pack them up again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wayan Buu was different. And the amount of bodies he was catching, this I told y'all, no regard for human life. And you know, I'm not even gonna talk about how bad he did Vegeta, bro. Because this was a different type of beatdown. We gonna go ahead and give Wayan Buu his Hall of Fame back. Now I almost forgot about one of my favorite YNs, that of which being Gidua Zoldic. Now, considering Gidua's already an assassin, he's about that life, bruh. And it's the fact that he's always on go, ready to catch a body, it just makes it even better. For example, we got Gidua's iconic moment during the Hunter exam. So it was my boy's turn to finally go against somebody, and then this buff serial killer dude stepped out, and Killer was like, hey bruh, what's the word? So serial killer folks went into this whole spill about how many people he's killed, how many lives he's taken, and Killer was just standing there unfazed. And so finally Killer was just like, hey, so the loser's the one who dies, right? And bro agrees. And that was all the green like Kirua needed. Cause right after bro finished his sentence, Kirua phased by this man and took his heart out bro. And when serial killer bro peeped his heart was gone, he looked bad like, hey, give me my heart back. And my boy just showed it to him smiling like he didn't commit the most egregious act of the show so far. But hey, technically Kirua did give him his heart back. He just wasn't alive to really notice. And this is when I knew he was one of them. And you know, another moment I want to mention is when he ran the ops out the city. And so this was during the Heavens Arena tournament arc and these scrubs wanted to get some easy wins off them. And they ended up threatening to do something to their little homie to make go and fight on a certain day. But dog, when Killua found out about this, he was heated. And the day Killua was supposed to fight, bro, he pulled up on him in his suite. And he told this man to never step foot in his city again, bro. And dude, listen, because he wasn't trying to lose his life. Like, Killua got a free dub that day. And this is one of them attributes I'm talking about that Killua has, bro. That's that intimidation, that young intimidation. <laughs> Somebody need to get my boy a shiesty mask ASAP. And you know, I'm gonna rank Killua a silver. Let's debate about it. Now, the last character I want to talk about is Thorf. And if you've never seen Vinland Saga, it's a show about Vikings and stuff. And Thorf and his yeah, Thorfinn's a dog. And for this video's sake, he was a YN for sure, bro. But the thing is, he wasn't always like that. He had some traumatic events that shaped his life in a shysty way. And so Thorfinn was literally a killing machine as a child. Like he was taking on multiple grown men at once by himself. But his true end goal was to get back for his pops. And literally the person he was trying to get back at was the leader of his crew. And my boy was always trying to run the ones. And it got to a point where Askeladd, the leader, would 1v1 Thorfinn if he did a favor for him. Which leads me to the moment I want to talk about. So their squad was just chilling outside of enemy territory. And Ask Lad was like, Thorfinn, I need you to do me a favor and merc Thorkel, who was the super soldier of a Viking. And as expected, Thorfinn was like, only if you run my fate. And Askeladd agreed, of course. So as everybody was going into battle, Thorfinn was on top of the ship and he was in that mode. And when they finally got close enough, Thorfinn jumps right at Thorkel and they start getting active, bruh. No talking, just smoke like a true YN. So Thorkel tells his crew to let them run the ones and he tries to murder Thorfinn with a punch. But Thorfinn been about this life, so he dodges that and cuts bro's wrist. And after seeing Thorfinn was no joke, Thorkel starts spamming eggs because he's trying to have fun with bro but Thorfinn is on a mission y'all and he ended up hitting Thorkel with a smooth combo and he thought he had a finisher but this walking block of protein just catches the blade through his hand and he starts throwing Thorfinn around like a rag doll bruh and then the rest of Thorfinn's crew ends up retreating leaving this man just hanging there and Thorkel trying to see if man's still alive but Thorfinn got them hood tendencies and sneaks this man cutting off two of his fingers this made Thorkel respect that he ran his ones like a G and he let him escape solidifying that he was one of the coldest YNs and considering Thorfinn ready to run the fade with his incentives and all, I'm gonna give him a gold YN badge. And you know, he would get the Hall of Fame, but he not up in his blades for no reason. He not just ignorant. Hey man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video though, for real. Um, subscribe if you made it this far, for real. Surprise, subscribe, bro. Press that button. I don't know why I'm using this mic right now. You know what I'm saying? RJ in the back. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Through Crew 5L, God bless y'all. Bro, just tap in with more videos or something, man. Stay tuned, we out.